Okay, I just want to go over this before I lose daylight. Uh, these are the finished uh, points on the arrows. And I've applied epoxy in, in the joint here and rat thread down on the foreshaft. Now, the type of epoxy I used uh, says it's uh, it works on glass. So I just use this type here. Loctite epoxy. Uh, still needs to dry overnight. I made sure the transitions were smooth. The fletchings are finished. I'm just going to leave them like this and send them out this way. And uh, my friend can cut these down if he needs to. Um, I'm going to make some or finish these target arrows tonight and uh, they match the weight uh, these bone tips here match the weight of the subsidian point plus the foreshaft so let's see if how much these weigh here Hundred and four grains, and this is cow bone. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's cow bone. Did I get it pet smart from the the middle section of the bone? That's where the thickest part is. You can see it's not completely round. It's because the bone isn't that thick. It's uh, three inches long. Thickest part is 3 8 wide. And I just sanded them down to match. Now I'll glue these in with epoxy. I'll glue these in permanently. And then wrap this tight. I split this at the end of the cane here by mistake when I was fitting this in without the uh, wrapping. Uh, that's why I wrapped these. But uh, I took the wrapping off while I was sanding this and I ended up pushing too hard and cracking the cane, but that's fine. With the epoxy and a, a strong wrap, you know, I'll pull it tight when I wrap this. It'll stay in pretty good. Now these are target arrows uh, for practice. because uh, It's difficult to shoot or to find a target uh, that'll accept this type of uh, arrowhead without breaking it. So I rarely ever shoot, you know, glass points or obsidian points at a target. I always make matching target arrows. So in this case I'm using bone here. And uh, I think that's it. Not much else to it except for the final finish on the shaft. I think I'll put a wax on here. I'm not sure exactly what kind yet. Uh, I can also put more glue around this wrapping to make it smoother because it feels a little rough even though it's you know laid down flat it still feels a little rough. If I put more glue over this it'll smooth it out. Uh, it's important to have a smooth area in just behind the, the arrowhead so you're not impeding the uh, penetration of the of the arrow. See if I can spin that. The points don't move. So they're all aligned. The, uh, the epoxy gives me some time before it sets up. So I was able to make final adjustments pretty easily. Okay. That's it.